let's check the lineups for this afternoon's third place match in this transatlantic challenge cup number eight close up front with the incomparable one the number 10 maradona and magico gonzalez day they won their first championship in brazil where they had a number of reserve end loaders over the as bronco comes through and has it put out and barcelona to the attack and now gonzalez Inside to Maradona. Diego Maradona to the left side. Leo overlapping. Here's Maradona. Into the box. Moves past Valor. It's Washington, number nine. Two uh, greatly talented players who did not make the fourth from the ends. Their regulation goal is Gonzalez is in a foot race against Valor. Gonzalez there to the area with Maradona inside. Maradona at the midfield. Had the assist last week, but was stopped on the penalty kick by David Versich in the second half. Good lead. Aldo has the ball back. Looks like Lieva has the turn. will have that game of three. Uh, sports. Most of offense. Migueling out the midfield of Maradona. Watching behind by Rene. And onside, no offside. In the first half. That yeah, ball beautifully taken by Maradona. A thing of beauty. Maradona gets the return. <laughs> Magico Gonzalez, number 11. The cutter to the inside. He it off of the 18 and back to Maradona. Maradona with loads of room now across midfield with an excellent lead. Out comes the keeper. Look where Maradona is. There he is again, wide open. And it's almost as though the uh, Brazilian team is conspiring to give him some chances to play the ball. I don't think that's really the case, but in fact, he's... Uh, the next last match for Barcelona. There's talk of a gigantic $9 million transfer to Napoli, possibly. Gonzalez plays it short. Very promising break by the Brazilians there, and very well taken at the end. There must be a foul there, sure. And now Maradona, again with the room, not being marked on his... Give a little credit there to Almo, the number five player for uh, Barcelona, who did not foul Washington as he went through, as, uh, which might be the temptation for a lot of players, clearly beaten like that. But uh, we want to see some entertaining soccer today, not negative soccer. And so far, the Brazilian through the middle have looked uh, quite enterprising. Here goes Gonzalez through three defenders trying to feed me. Well, that was all magical, Gonzalez. Uh, there's another yellow card. No doubt who's going to take it. Where it's going, heads off the wall, and Gonzalez will take it. Looking for the in-swinger. The last one, a very low one, a little bit more high on this one, and settled by Huzios. Left foot it shot. A lower one, Maradona with a back header loose in the crease, it bounds. So it is still zero to zero. Gonzalez to the inside, out comes Lopez to put it away. An obstruction call outside the area. Look at this lovely piece of skill here. Look at that beautiful touch by Macho Gonzalez, uh, putting the ball around. And the goalie, and the wall, and the ball. Knocked down. Rebound, it comes to Estea. Two! Oh, Barcelona! He's off his thigh and into the net. But look at Estea's shot. Now watch his bad effort by the goalkeeper. Really, he is... And back it comes to Gonzalez. 16-15 now, remaining in the first half. They are taking it... Uh, to the other club, to Fluminense, uh, with a good deal of thing, but uh, they uh, never lacked for the opportunity to come. They came back to uh, tie that match and then win it with five minutes to go. From the midfield, Estea to Maradona. And close. Tanked. Back for Barcelona. Fluminense in the white, Barcelona in the dark. The red and blue. Estea has got it back, and it comes to Gonzalez with 12-15 in the first half. Foot race, and he's so Gonzalez uh, now on the ball, giving a little uh, flick back there to Estea. In the midfield, a lead down the left side. There goes Gonzalez, works against Dulio. Gonzalez looking for close. And towards the line. Gonzalez is impressing me very, very much in this first half. Maradona, speaking of impressive to Gonzalez. Uh, we'll have a chance through the afternoon to talk about the national team showing against the Italians on Wednesday evening, and so many of the Cosmos as a uh, more dominant uh, now in the last five minutes than he was uh, certainly in the first 30. Lieva at the midfield for Barcelona. Vika, Gonzalez looks to win. Nay, that they are willing to try the very, very difficult things at the top of the penalty area, the quick combinations, 
skillful touches and so forth. That's what you come out to see uh, Brazilian teams do when you come to a stadium like this. No skill by Lake Maradona. Again, drawing players towards him. And, of course, that's what you always want to, to happen if you're on Maradona's side, that he draws one or two players start to go off the defense and it gives a chance for the opening. Now Maradona has room just outside the area with a through man and just wide. He did have Muziel's running to his right. He took the shot on Sports Channel. Lieva's got it back. Now Barcelona. No substitutions as far as we can see. At the onset of the second half as Maradona. Maradona slicing it ahead. Lead on side. This is close. Chris crossing with Huzios. Centers for Maradona. He's taken again down from behind. And that's with his up cruising through the goal area and hoping maybe that uh, the ball might have been out of valor. Barcelona building from the midfield. The captain Maradona again muscled. Hernandez and the Red Hot Mets beat the Pirates Tuesday at 8 live from Three River Stadium. Mets baseball as Gonzalez goes in and it's deflected wide to the right side. Magico Gonzalez. Gonzalez corner kick put out plus as well there's Gonzalez to take it again swerves more towards the keeper settled by Huzios chips it in for Maradona over the head of close off the referee and uh, Valor to Maradona A wacky action here Maradona on the right side now with Huzios still in the middle this is Gonzalez crisscrossing with Estella Estella offside I'm going to get into a good position again now to help this team out being troubled by Washington but uh, Gonzalez has now the left side there's Maradona crisscrossing with Gonzalez Maradona for close back to Diego Maradona a lead for Magico Gonzalez in the area is the goal the magic man Gonzalez and it's two to one Barcelona well you can see that coming we kept talking about Gonzalez all the time but he made a great find him now watch Maradona get the ball here and watch Gonzalez coming to the bottom left of your screen He'll cut in here, the extreme left there, as he gets behind number two, Julio, who's been watching the horn, apparently, that there's somebody behind him and does not look over his shoulder. So worried is he about uh, Maradona that he lets Julio in. Uzios in the box, so is Maradona. Gonzalez might have been grazed. Header just off the crossbar, rebound is in. Just Maradona, allowed. handball, handball disallowed. Maradona took the rebound off the post and put it in off the crossbar, but I... it's, a, it's a bit of a joker. He certainly is in a good, good position. Well, unfortunately, we can't see it. It all happened so fast there, but well, you very often just flick up the hand and make it look as though they're heading it in, but really punch it in. And the referee feels without any doubt whatsoever that that's what Maradona... <laughs> <laughs> Bob Evans counts, and he had a big, broad grin on his face. So he for Gonzalez down the right side against Rene. Hell trying to round the corner of the defense. Well, things have really heated up to uh, two goals, and I would guess maybe a few more to come. Especially a corner kick. It's King in the box. Gonzalez has in regulation. Barcelona to Fluminense to Maradona. First touch for a good cross, and that extra little split second he took to steady the ball. The in swinger. Well beyond the far post. And break the rules to stop him. Estella, as Lopez is off his line, challenging Maradona, and Maradona wins that fight as the keeper came out and gave Maradona what he even in fact may not have been with senior though I think of it yes it was yes. senior and uh, Rene with the header but it uh, was offside as the flag went up Estella Gonzalez a lead for Maradona on side challenge by Julio and the keeper fans on that but well, I think off one of these already when the rebound off the wall was fed to Estella Ooh. Just over the top with Gonzalez breaking against Julio. Well, here's a chance. Yes, chips it back to the edge of the box. Gonzalez to center. And it's been there by uh, Magico Gonzalez, who uh, decides to go with a right foot. Challenged up, Almo. Challenged by Romero. And now Maradona has to circle deep in the end. Diego Maradona, perhaps his final match for Barcelona. Perhaps a transfer to Napoli of the Italian first division underway. Gonzalez lifting for Husillo, just wide. He just putting his head to it and denying Maradona an attempt. Gonzalez on the right side, watched by Branco. Maradona, back to Gonzalez, onside, moves in, watched by Vika. Inside, uh, important when you're off the ball. And the really, really smart players, the intelligent ones, the best in the world, know exactly, almost instinctively, when to hold. Dollar transfer to Napoli. Well, also, uh, 
East, so they're still uh, using the money from the transfer. Some players just bought Oskin recently from the Argentina na Argentine national side, and uh, that meant a tremendous amount of that club. Match for Maradona, who is on the ball right now with Barcelona at age 23. Tangling there with Bronco. Several times, not just on Maradona, but on other players. Julio, the captain, which right now is in sudden death overtime. Bob Lee and Seamus Mathalona breaks back with Gonzalez. Machico Gonzalez. He does have a goal today. Chips ahead for Maradona. And if this one concludes, still at two and two, we'll go to another ten minutes. Then possibly penalty kicks to decide it. By the side until one team has an insurmountable advantage. Maradona lead. Lays it back for Maradona. Diego. Chip inside for Maradona. Taking down the edge of the area. Waves off though by Bob Evans. And Another substitution for Barcelona as Canajeres, number 14, is on, replacing McGilly, a central defender. Close. Now on the right side. A lead for Canajeres, or rather Gonzalez, far too far. And a goal kick now. Does so down the left side. And Barcelona on a break. Here goes. Magico Gonzalez with Maradona to the far wing as Julio wins the minutes now. Second overtime as Gonzalez done his Maradona is on it now. This is Dios. There close is back. And Gonzalez is on it. Oh, rather through penalties, which of course uh, in a third play or fourth place game has much less uh, sting to it than the Arrows on the right side. Throws it back for Maradona. Can't get to it. Taken out of the play. And that is it. Regulation and overtime over. And we go now to the penalty kick shootout. And, of course, uh, in the regular field of play, even if you miss, you may get a rebound. No rebounds, of course, can be uh, converted here. Magico Gonzalez. Right along the ground. So Barcelona has the advantage as Lopez guessed incorrectly. Uh, take a little bit to one side and then push it away to the other. Along the and um, who's going to call this one as he misses it? <laughs> four four is the score. Third penalty kick attempt for Barcelona. Maradona just inside the post to the right of Lopez, and so way to do it is just take it a little one way and then push it the other. And if you hit hard, hit over the top. And his there is is in. And that's the match. The third place game by a score of seven to six, winning five to four on penalties in the penalty shootout. <laughs>